Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna talk about the Salesforce knowledge. And from an experienced cloud perspective, right? Uh, Salesforce knowledge and article is important because like I said in one of the uh, videos I did like a couple of days ago that I didn't mention, right? I mean, you might be creating a public facing site with, with, you know, where you wanted to expose your customer to your knowledge article, right? So uh, now you must be wondering, what, what exactly Salesforce knowledge, right? And why I'm talking about it. So at this stage, well, the reason why I wanted to talk about it at this stage, right? Uh, in the future, we might be building a site where we can expose to Salesforce knowledge. Uh, so I just thought it's better to do it at this stage. Okay. So let me explain Salesforce knowledge, right? With Salesforce knowledge, you can create and manage uh, a knowledge base, uh, you know, with your company information and you can, you know, uh, securely sh uh, share it with who you want it, right? Uh, now, Salesforce knowledge base, obviously, you know, knowledge base contains the knowledge articles. So, so Salesforce knowledge base uh, is pretty much built from knowledge articles, which are like documents of information or user manual or whatever, right? Um, so, you can have a process documentation, you can have frequently asked questions or uh, yeah, something like that, right? Um, so yeah, so that's one in a nutshell what uh, Salesforce knowledge is about. So what I'm gonna do, so I logged into my org, you need to have uh, you know service uh, option in your org. So you go to the Gearcock icon, so obviously you'll find the service setup, so I'm here. Um, so what I'll do, I'll do a pretty simple thing, right? I'm going to add a user. So since we are setting up, it's you'll find this in tra uh, trailer anyway. So what I'll do, I'll I'll set a user. So knowledge user. So I'll say no knowledge user zero zero seven at you know test dot com, right? Um, hopefully it works. So I will say knowledge. Uh, all right, whatever user. Uh, so, and the profile, I will just use the custom um, support profile, right? Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And what I'll do, I will, so I got one more license, right? Which I can use it. So, uh, sometimes what happens, right? Uh, when you try to do this option, right? Uh, you will see that, you know, um, you have used the license, okay? Um, so let me see what happened. <laughs> Something happened. I probably didn't use it. Oh, let me go to the user. Um, all right, it didn't create it, which is interesting. Okay, let me try it again, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to add user. Um, and so let's say knowledge user one. Okay, just say zero zero seven one two three four. Right at test.com. Uh, no user. Okay, I can create a, a license, so I will say sales profile, uh, support profile. Yeah, okay, sorry. The mistake I did right last time was I forgot to add, click on add user. So, my apologies for that. Um, so, I mean, you might end up in doing the same mistake, trust me, right? You might miss it. Oh, okay. So you might see something like this. Oh, okay. I can choose it and click on finish, right? It, it can happen. So that's one of the reasons why I don't really like this user interface. They should have the buttons on my here. But anyways, that's that's my opinion. Okay. So now what I'll do, uh, so I've added the, the custom profile. So what I'll do, I'll do a knowledge setup, right? Because the reason why, if you go to the object manager, <clears throat> if you look at the, the knowledge, right? You don't see any any uh, information about the knowledge, right? You don't see any custom uh, object about the knowledge. That's because you haven't created one. So what I'll do, uh, I'll go to home, <clears throat> yeah? And you can create knowledge setup. If not, if you can't find this, right now, view all. You can you can find it and type the knowledge setup. Right? Uh, it just do it. Okay. And so what I'll do next. So if you have followed my service cloud consultant certification series, I've explained that in very detail. 
So I'm just saying, right? It's it's available uh, free in, in my YouTube playlist. Just go and watch it, right? If you're more, if you're interested to know that. And so I'm gonna add this no user, and I'm just gonna add this. All right, um, it's gonna take time. I honestly don't care about any of this stuff. And I'm gonna say finish. All right. Okay, I, I think something happened. <clears throat> Let's see if, if it could create a if it's create any knowledge. Um, okay. All right, so we got a knowledge here, right? See, the customer object is created. So what I'll do, I will go to the setup again. And I will see if they enable knowledge setting. Um, yeah, enable knowledge, lightning knowledge, right? Which is fantastic. Now, we need to do a little bit uh, thingy here. So what I'll do, obviously, you know, um, so if you look at the user here, right? Um, so the if you look at the user here, Come on. Uh, I can't log into the any of the user, right? So I need to enable that option first. So what I'll do, I will go to login access policies, um, and I will look for something called administrator can login as any user. So I enable this, and there's one more options which I wanted to do. Session settings and force free login. Um, so I want to untick it. So what will happen is, so you can log in as any user you want. Then if you log off, it will ask you to re-log in. I mean, uh, the reason why I wanted to do it is just for my own convenience. But in your organization, in your company, you might be doing it. You might need this option because of security reason. So it's a case by case, right? So I'm just turning it off just for my own convenience. So, yeah, just don't say that, oh, this guy said that to turn that off. It's just a case by case, though, right? Um, and um, <clears throat> so that's interesting stuff. And uh, uh, what I'll do, um, I will actually go here and I will say knowledge. Right. There you go. So we got, you know, we can create a new, we can publish it, we can sign it, we can do a lot of stuff here, right? Uh, and so that's that's something, uh, you know, I wanted to do today just to set up the knowledge. This is how you normally do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, before I close up for today, I just wanted to enable the fee tracking for the knowledge. So what I'll do, I'll go back to uh the service setup again and i'll look for something called fee, fee tracking yeah i'm gonna go to fee tracking um and uh so what i'll do i'll look for the knowledge somewhere maybe all right you just go here so i'll just do an animal fee tracking and that's pretty much all I wanted to do, right? So, um, so why do we need this, right? You must be wondering, okay? So, if you enable this feed tracking, right, it, what this will do is that it will allow the co collaboration on articles using Chatter, um, and it will also ensure that you know that user, which are creator, right, it will be aware of all the updates or changes within the knowledge, okay? So that's one of the reasons why, you know, it's a good practice to enable it. So some companies, they don't do it. Uh, but like I said, it's a good practice to do it. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about in this episode, right? Uh, because I wanted to, to uh, show you guys how to set up a knowledge, which is very important. Um, and then in the future episode, we're going to do more stuff uh, on the knowledge. Like we can configure the page layout and record types, which I'm going to do it, right? And then also... Uh, you know, create and customize data categories we're going to do. And then we're also going to create and manage articles. 
and then we also do manage cases using articles right so that's pretty much we're going to do we're going to finish in like two three uh episodes right so not so big deal so that's pretty much i wanted to talk about in today's episode i hope you guys have an amazing wednesday adios